animals' lives have value independent of what we think of them. To ignore that, to block that out, I think it does a terrible thing to our humanity. A lot of indigenous nations, for instance, Native American nations, follow seventh generation principles. All their decisions uh, are weighed with the thought, how will this look seven generations from now? How will it affect my descendants? I, I really look forward to hunting. I, I don't know how you rationalize it, but you start to think, you know, I want to have this animal in my hand. I want to possess it because I love it so much. There's actually quite a strong link between harming animals and serious and violent crimes towards people. They don't see it as hitting a woman. They see it as hitting somebody that's subhuman, that is lower than them, that deserves it, that is there for trouble. I personally have received threats, and if they kill me one day, hopefully there will be somebody else who's feeling the same way as I do, which will just pick up where I left off and just keep on carrying on. 7.5 billion primates hunting has no place in a natural ecosystem. We're only going to uh, survive if we uh, throw off this uh, this anthropocentric attitude. I cannot really believe how we can destroy the wildlife and destroy this history of our planet. I think that when you see this wild animal, you understand exactly why we're doing what we're doing, why we're at times risking our lives to protect them. You know, I really think it's important that people realize they do have power and they can make change. So, what are we supposed to do? What do you do? You put yourself on the line because nobody else is sorting it out. <laughs>